guys, so I'm going to do a really quick video, sorry about the quality, right now I'm using my phone, I did get a new camera over Christmas, um, and I'll probably do a bit of a video about the whole backstory to that, because it's not just a gift, it, there's, there's a lot more to it than that, but anyway, um, that camera doesn't actually have a memory card at the moment, so I've got the camera but not a memory card, um, so I'm doing the first video for 2018 on my phone, held by my hand, so it's going to be a bit jiggly, I am sorry. Um, I'm not sure what I do with my uh, stand when I moved house, so now I've got to rummage around and find it and all the stuff. My um, room that I have moved into is a complete mess. I've moved back um, to where I was before. There's la la stuff in the corner there. Um, Vala came with me. Uh, at the moment she's grumpy at me because I gave her her flea medicine and She's in a bit of a grump because apparently it stinks and I don't blame her, it smells kind of funny. Um, anyway, so a big thing that I'm doing as part of one of my resolutions for 2018 is, um, and I was already working on it before, of trying to go zero waste, but this time I'm making SMART goals, so uh, SMART being an acronym for um, Specific, Measurable, Attainable or Achievable. Um, what's the next letter? R. <laughs> um, relevant, um, as well as like time. There's a time frame on it, so there's a deadline. So what? One of the biggest things I'm doing is actually going to start measuring how much rubbish I make. Um, because before it was just I'm gonna just not do stuff. I'm gonna reduce stuff and whatever. But that was manageable because I had no idea if I was actually changing my habits or making an impact. So I'm trying to move away from that light so you don't get a weird halo on me. Um, oops, almost fell over. Um, uh, so I've actually got a little thing here. I've written trash on it. Yeah. Um, with I've realised masking tape which is stupid because later I may need to use a jar and that's just going to become more rubbish. Wow, going so well this year. Um. And starting today, so today's the second, um, now it is like 9.30 at night, so uh, I've already thrown out most of what I've used today, but um, anything that can't be recycled, can't be composted, um, is essentially going to go in here. Um, and each month I'm going to take a picture of this with the date and whatever else on it, and I'm also going to weigh it so I know how much uh, trash I'm making each year, uh, each month, sorry. Um, and then seeing if I can reduce the amount of trash that I'm making um, year after year after year based on um, how much is in this jar. So that's going to be interesting and exciting. The other thing I'm doing as well is I'm doing a bit of a challenge to myself where anything that comes into my possession, I'm going to try and find two uses or purposes for it before it leaves my uh possession so for example um cat food cans i'm going to wash out and clean out properly and see if i can find a use for those um i have a bunch of little jam jars from work um and so they've already had one use but i want to see if i can get two uses out of them um at the moment mostly they've been um they've been used uh to store cat food that i've made at home um, which I've then frozen, but I'm actually in the process of making some lip balms, so that's going to be really fun, and um, that way I don't have to spend as much money on lip balms, and I can make sure that the they are vegan, um, and I don't have to worry about whether they've been tested on animals, or have animal products, or anything like that, because I'll have made them at home out of fresh fruit and things. Um, yeah, uh, the other thing too is I'm going to make a bigger effort to recycle soft plastics. So here in Australia, um, councils don't actually recycle it for you so the recycling bin that you have on, on the side of the road you, you put your, your recycling in and then you wheel it out there and they take it um that doesn't actually take soft plastics like plastic bags and um chip packets and things like that um they don't actually take those however um coal supermarkets have this thing called red cycle where they have a bunch of bins in a, in their stores um and you can drop off your soft plastics and they will recycle them for you. So I'm making a bigger effort. I'm putting a, um, I've got a 
bag in the pantry at the moment where all the soft plastics go. I'm yeah, I'm making a bigger deal out of that and trying to make sure that that doesn't end up in the landfill bin. And so that's going to be a big part of that. And so I'm going to try and document that journey as much as I can, um, because that's something that I think is is really important to me and the planet and to my big dream to live on an uninhabited island off the coast of Japan, which has kind of changed. So I'll talk to you guys about that dream a little bit more. I have a meeting for that on Friday. So meeting up with a bunch of people who are going to be part of it. So maybe things will change dramatically or maybe they won't. We'll see how it goes. Um, Yeah, so... That's pretty much the general gist of, of things at the moment. I have a whole bunch of resolutions. I'm doing like 11 of them um, for this year. Having said that, two of them are fairly achievable. Like I think I'll be able to get them out of the way in the next two, three months. So that'll be interesting. It's, some of the other ones are a bit longer. Things like reading the uh, 58 books, I think it is this time. So that's that's what it's going to take to beat my old record. So 58 books. Um, I'm going to try reading those this year. Um, and a few other things like that. Uh, I might do another video later on those resolutions. Again, when I can find a memory card for my new camera. Um, and that'll be really, really exciting. Um, yeah, uh, that's all I can really think of at the moment. Um, that, that I can think of that's worth documenting or mentioning at the moment. I think my biggest thing is probably going to be things like chewing gum, because I'm a bit of a gum addict um so I'm gonna have to find a replacement for that, that doesn't make waste um and I feel like the most annoying part of that is I uh I tend to buy I tend to buy chewing gum that doesn't come in packaging that like doesn't come in a paper wrapper or that kind of thing because I'm like oh no I'll just buy it in this reusable tub and then I can just use the tub for something else or blah 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 problem with that is it doesn't come with a wrap which means I have to use a fresh tissue to chuck out my gum, which means that tissue could have been composted, but it wasn't because I spat gum into it. And that's going to annoy me. So that's going to be something that's going to be interesting and I'm going to have to work out how to sort out. Um, yeah, I'm going to be working on that kind of thing as well as my jobs and my career and the rest of my crazy life being me. Um, so that's going to be... Really interesting, really exciting, and I'm really, really looking forward to it. Um, but also, I'm really, really nervous. Uh, but it seems pretty good, and I'm going to um, work really, really hard on doing these things. So, yeah, I'm also in the process of getting rid of a bunch of things. That still have really got a lot of packaging. So, for example, a while ago, I bought a whole ton of body wash and uh, shampoo and conditioner because they were less than half price and um, because I think it was like a promotional release thing like they just released this thing and one of them was just normal half price but like the, the body washes were all less than that because they just released them and I bought a whole bunch of them and I'm still getting through them so I want to kind of finish using those before I start um, going on to more zero waste options just because I don't want to waste the stuff I've already bought um on the bright side I'm also gonna be careful about not just my waste but my water wastage so I'm collecting all of the water from my showers to use onto the plants um yeah so a, a lot of little things I'm doing but um I'm really hoping that I can uh, make a difference in some sort of way I've been doing things at work where I've kept a tub just to the side and um, anytime there were soft plastics, I threw them in the tub and I convinced a couple of other people to do it too, um, with me when I was on shift. And then at the end of my shift or during my break, I would pick it up and take it down to the coals down the road and just throw it all in there. Um, and then, yeah, so, um, hopefully I'll be able to make a bit of an impact and, and make a change. Um, it's going to be really important, I think for that kind of thing so yeah looking forward to it really excited also very nervous but we'll see how it goes fingers crossed i will see you all next time hopefully on in higher quality and i love you all and hope you all had a wonderful new year and a wonderful holiday season and whether you celebrated christmas hanukkah 
the solstice yule whatever it was i hope you had a great one uh i had a wonderful um albert heffin myself as well as my family are uh christian so we celebrated christmas uh, christmas christmas at uh, christmas um <laughs> so we celebrated christmas as well which was really nice so um yeah i might do a couple of videos on maybe on albert heffin um i may even be pronouncing that wrong i have no idea um but that'll be really, really exciting. Um, so there's a lot I have planned to do this year. And I'm really, really excited. And look at how long my hair is. I'm probably going to do some Princess Leia bonds sometime soon. Take some pictures and then give it the chop. Because it's getting really warm now. And my hair this long is really irritating. Anyway, love you all. Hope you have a great night, weekend, day, whatever it is when you are watching this. And I will see you next time.